Hey everybody, I'm Belinda Sandor, also known as Rocket Girl. Today we're going to talk about the power of hashtag stop talking. Hey everybody, Belinda Sandor, also known as Rocket Girl. Welcome to this episode of the Rocket Girl Show. Um, I'm happy to have you here and uh, tell me in the comments where you're coming in from. We are streaming all over Facebook. We are on LinkedIn. We are on YouTube. And if you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button so you'll be notified about all of our free trainings. Um, we are also on Twitter. So come on in, settle down. And today we're going to talk about something that is so powerful that I actually put it on a t-shirt, all right? So here's my stop talking t-shirt, my stop talking sticker that all of my students get when they sign up for my signature program, um, VA school. So, so let's talk a little bit about um, the, the background of, of stop talking, all right? So when we're virtual assistants, um, or we're thinking about becoming one, um, and someone, you know, we're networking or we're at the grocery store or somewhere and someone says, what do you do? we start talking and we talk and talk and talk and we talk so much that we overwhelm them, we confuse them, they have no idea what we're even talking about because we haven't figured out ahead of time how to talk about our work, right? So the, the thing is, is that we act like this is a surprise question and we wing it, right? So let me know in the comments how many of you have done that. I know, you've, I know that a lot of you have and I know when I was talking to, um, you know, to people out in the world, they would get so overwhelmed. And I could tell the minute that I, the, I, I could tell the minute when I lost their attention, but I didn't know what to do about it. So today we're going to talk about what you can do. Okay. So let's jump in. Okay. So the first thing obviously, right, is prepare what you're going to say ahead of time. So you're ready and you want it to be short and to the point. Now, here's what I recommend. I'm a virtual assistant. Um, I work with small businesses. I work with entrepreneurs and I help them with all their admin tasks like newsletter, email newsletters, website updates, and PowerPoint presentations. Now, the reason you want to stop there is because really we want to create a little space, right? We want to stop right there, create a space for them to have a comment or a question or to even you know, consider what we're saying. And so often what we do is we're afraid of the silence, right? We're afraid of the silence. And so we just keep rambling, ramble, ramble, ramble. So I want you to practice this out loud and ahead of time, okay? Here's the other thing. You need to be conversational about it. And what I mean is, you know, <laughs> sometimes what happens is, you know, you'll be in a, a social setting and someone will say, what do you do for work? And this is what so many people have done when I've asked them that who are not prepared. They, they, they kind of look up and they go, um, okay, I was just working on this. I have an elevator pitch. Okay. I, um, I work with business owners and small businesses and women wearing blue and, you know, they, all the details. And, um, and what I do is I use my five point system for marketing automation to drive returns on their sales, or like that makes no sense, right? It, it definitely makes no sense. And that that's because it's, you know, they haven't thought about it and they're talking like they're a marketer or they're a technical writer or whatever they are when really they need to act like a person. And so here's what I mean by that. Um, if your kid came up to you and said, you know, what were, oh, mom, what are we having for dinner? You could spaghetti, we're having, we're having spaghetti. We're going to put meat sauce on. It's going to be great right now. <laughs> you want to be able to talk about your work in the same way. What do you do for work? Because it's like, it's a regular everyday question, right? So that's why we're, we're prepared. And, and we want to be able to say, oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a virtual assistant. Yeah, I work with solo professionals, entrepreneurs, and I help them with admin work like A, B, and C, right? So you want to be able to, you know, what color is the sky? Blue. What do you do for work? I'm a VA, right? You want to be able to talk about it. You also want to be prepared to talk about what a virtual assistant is because people might say, well, what is that? It's like, well, I work virtually for entrepreneurs and I help them, you know, and like think about the questions they're going to ask you, right? And be prepared, be prepared. Now you're going to have to memorize this, all right? You're going to have to memorize it and you're going to have to do this and you're not going to want to, 
but you have to practice it out loud. You cannot get around this. Believe me. <laughs> so get in your car, practice while you're driving, practice in the shower. What I used to do um, when I first started becoming, uh, when I was started my VA business, I used to uh, live in Boston and there's something called the Jamaica pond. And I would walk around it like three or four times every day. And I would have my, my iPhone in my hand or in my pocket. And I would have my earbuds on, you know, the white cord. And I would pretend I was on the phone and I would say it over and over and over on the way to a networking event. That's what I'm doing in the car. I'm saying it over and over and over. There's something about having the words be comfortable in your mouth. And that might sound bizarre, but that's really what it takes. You, the words have to be comfortable in there and you have to work through the ums and the ahs and all the things so that it will just come out. Okay. And here's a big one. When someone asks you what you do, don't start to try to get hired. And what I mean by that is, you know, don't be cute. And, and well, what kinds of things do you struggle with? And I mean, have a regular conversation, but don't try to position yourself um, to get hired. If somebody wants to hire a VA, they'll figure it out and they'll call you because you didn't put pressure on them, right? Because what happens is we've all been in these conversations with someone who is trying to get hired and it feels like a transaction. It doesn't feel like a relationship. It doesn't feel respectful. It feels like they're just putting their hand in your pocket, right? Trying to get some money out of it. So definitely don't do that. Be friendly, be helpful, um, be authentic, right? People are attracted to that. They're, they're definitely attracted to that. And if you can do this, per, you know, these four steps, prepare, be conversational, practice out loud so it's natural and stop trying to get hired, you will get hired because you're going to stand out from the rest. You're going to be confident. You're going to be self-assured and, um, and many clients will head your way when you can figure this out. Okay, good. So we've got Amy here and Carrie and Glenda and Tessa. There's a lot more of you. I can see you there. So put your name in the chat so I can see who's joining us. Awesome. Now I want to tell you about something that's coming up next which uh, some of you may have heard about. It's called the VA Client Kickstart Challenge. And I am going to go into great detail five days in a row on how to get a steady stream of clients in your business. And what I talked about today is the tip of the iceberg for what we're going to talk about on the second day um, on, uh, of the training, which is how to talk about your work in a way that helps you create a referral engine. All right. So the challenge is going to start on April 24th. Um, you can sign up by going to vachallenge.info. There is a resources page that you'll have instant access to that has videos. It has um, an, a chapter from my upcoming book on how to get clients as a virtual assistant. Um, there's also a pop-up Facebook group. There was already um, about a couple hundred people in the group. Very exciting. We're posting in there every single day. I'm there answering questions along with uh, Carrie McWhorter, who's our community manager. Um, so we're making sure that you have everything that you need. So pop on over vachallenge.info and let's get some clients in your business, okay? All right, good, good. Thank you for coming. I, I appreciate um, you guys paying attention to the Rocket Girl Show. It's a lot of fun for me and, um, and uh, I love having you here. I love having you here. I see a question from Amy. Will the bonus session later today be recorded? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. All right, Belinda Sandor signing off. Bye for now.